still use an ICM gyro and MPU 6000 are both connected via SPI. We have an A volt regulator. Um, that's just crazy for camera VTX open and close. Look, you could even power off the eight volt regulator with user two in the modes tab. That's crazy. Two video inputs. That is even more crazy. This is by far. Wow. That's crazy. That is really crazy here. That is actually really insane. I didn't see this before. PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCBWay is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest coupons from Banggood, which will also be linked down below along with the timetables. So we're going to take a look at the coupon list and also going to be taking a look at some of the new products and uh, some honorable mentions as well, which I've been using for some time now and they've been holding out very, very well at a really good price. So let's go ahead and start with the coupons real quick. And again, if you didn't want to watch this part, the, the coupon list is down below. So here in yellow, the ones that I've highlighted yellow are stuff that I've used and I would definitely recommend and this seems to be a good price. And the things that I have set up in green are basically kind of a must have because these are on an absolute steal of a deal. And they are proper things that I've actually tested, which are these, for example, for example, you get 8% off of the DJI Digital FPV system. And also, if you're just beginning and saving up, you're going to find some good deals, which will probably help you purchase the thing quicker than you expected. And uh, it could be useful to a lot of people out there. So let's go ahead and just cover this really quickly here. So here, what we see is the Diatone Cube 3 inch. Now, this is a really nice quadcopter. However, there is one small, tiny, I don't want to say issue. Maybe it's been fixed out, but it's due to the default PID, but it's probably worked out by now. Uh, which is it would oscillate on really high throttle. So yeah, just take that into consideration. But this is going to be for a really good price right now. Uh, with the coupon, you're going to get it for 117 bucks. It's 160 bucks. That is a really good deal. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. You don't even need to take it full throttle. And it's really, really quick. So that's one thing. And again, everything's in the Excel sheet. So you can go ahead and follow along with me. Next, we have the Mamba F722 Mini. Now, this is a really nice flight controller. I have used it, and I do have it on one of my favorite quads currently. Now, this is an F7 flight controller, but it's not really meant for a high load, uh, you know, setup. For example, if you're not, you know, it says three to six S, two to six S, but if you're going to be running, like, for example, 1900 kV motors um, with some, like, 5.1 inch props or 5 inch props, that's, gonna, that's considered a high load. You're going to be hitting 50 amps, 40 amps, 45 amps, and this is not something I would stick it on. I'll probably go with like a 1650, 1700 KV on a 6S. And if I wanted to do 3S, uh, 4S, I wouldn't go anything above 2450 KV on these. For example, pairing these up with some Emacs Ecos would be great. And also the Shings and also even the Mamba motors would be really great. But I wouldn't pass the 2450 KV and I wouldn't pass a 1750 KV for a 6S setup. This is what I would personally set this up on. It's 72 bucks, but with the coupon here, you get it for 65. So right around 10 bucks off right there, if I calculated that correctly. So this is uh, pretty interesting. I think I actually misread this last time. Well, yeah, it is actually. So I recently reviewed this one. Let me just double check if it's this one. It is this one. So it's 250 bucks with the coupon. You're basically going to get this for $200. Now, if you subtract the Cadex Vista, which costs 150 bucks, basically you're getting the whole quadcopter for 50 bucks. Now, something to also take into consideration with this, it's really, really efficient. It could hold a really big payload, like a GoPro session, for example, with the right battery. And it's, it's, it's amazing. It's really efficient. Uh, the prop guards are going to tend to break, but they do provide you with some extras and you get an extra set of propellers as well. But overall, I really enjoyed myself flying it, but it does need a slight of a tune. But this is a really, really great deal here. Um, so yeah, th that's something that I would also uh, recommend here. So we have two of these actually. We have a 20% off coupon, 15% off coupon. These are limited, so you better hurry up. And you have two more days until these, these two expire right here. You can see the end date here. Now here we have another one which was really interesting. Now I've, didn't, I've never tested the HD version, and again this is why it's in yellow. But this is a Diatone for 160 bucks. Now this thing is an absolute beast. I've, I've flown the normal one. So this one just looks pretty insane. It has HD recording capabilities, not the DJI setup. 
Um, but these things usually tend to fly really well, uh, especially the ones that I've tested. And, and I really do like these, actually. So if you're looking into that, you get a little nice 20% off coupon. And the iFlight Nas goes for 170. That's insane. The 4 and the 6S, that's just crazy right there. Uh, so yeah, this whole thing for 170 bucks is insane. This is one of my favorite frames. And um, just the overall performance is really great. However, I never really liked the Nazgul props. That kind of hinders its performance, in my opinion. And I never really stick them on there. And they do have some high, on, on at least on when you do full punch out, you do get some oscillations. And it is, I think, due to the propellers or a tune with these propellers. But usually I stick like a cyc Dell prop cyclones, uh, 50, 46, 50, 47 Cs. Those are really great on it. I really love it. So yeah, there's there's still a bunch more things that you can go ahead and check down below here. For example, 20% off of the Eoshin EV800D. Now this is a really, this is one of the best beginner goggles ever if you're not sure you're going to begin, but you also want something pretty proper. And this would probably be one of the best box goggles out there. You, you can see you could have it shipped from Europe and also China. So that's really great. If you want it quicker, you get in Europe, China, you could probably bypass customs if, if, you, if, if you get lucky. Uh, but 20% off is going to be really, really great here. And uh, it has diversity. It has SD card recording capability. So you can share your footage, that whatever cool thing you've done. So and again, this is a, a proper setup. And this is the one I tend to recommend to anyone just starting out. If you're not sure if you're going to commit into this. Because this still ha this will still hold its, its resale value. So you'll still be able to get at least 60 bucks for this. No problem. If you post it in the correct place. So uh, if you bought it for 80 or 90, you could, you could just drop 20 bucks. And you could sell it. And you, you'll, be, you'll sell it pretty quick, actually. So it's, it's, a, it's a really nice product that will have good resale value. So if you change your mind, you don't want to continue. Or even if you just changed your mind and you just uh, wanted to upgrade. You could still even keep it and or sell it. So you could keep it so you could give it to somebody that comes flies with you. So again, it's a really good thing. Also, these T-Motor budget motors are really great. Also, I've tested them, uh, bench tested them, and they, they, they performed really well. Uh, we also got some race star motors, which are not bad as well. But for the 2688 KV one, you're going to need a pretty beefy 30x30 ESC, just in case you don't keep burning ESCs if you're going to be setting up a 20x20. And there's still plenty more things down here you can go ahead and check out for yourself. So let's go ahead and move on to the new components or some of the new components that I've found. There isn't that many have been are being released currently. But again, we'll revisit the window shopping later on. All right, guys. So in this part, we're going to be taking a look at some honorable mentions and also some new components that are currently being released. So first of all, I guess since the Emacs is open, the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 race is a really, really nice flying machine. However, one thing that I don't like about it is the antenna placement or the way they've actually set up the antenna out of the box, which because I ripped mine uh, trying to, you know, mount it somewhere securely. So I wish they would fix that and also change the way that the antenna is connected to the board uh, via an IPEX or something because soldering these little antennas is, is, uh, is a pretty good challenge. I mean, especially when you want to strip that wire for the antenna. So that's something to take into consideration with this. But overall, it is an absolute flying beast and it's super quiet and it's super fast and it's pretty efficient as well. Next down the list, we have the Mamba F50. Now I have the bigger brother of this, which is the basically I think the F50, but it comes in uh, with the BL Heli 32, same design, but the different microcontroller units. And uh, overall, this thing is an absolute beast. And, I, and this one right now is a uh, can it, well, it's going to be on an upcoming build, a budget build. That's how much I trust it. Because usually I tend to keep my budget builds because those are my favorite because I'm not worried about breaking them. And let's move on to the next one. This looks interesting. It's the Mamba F405. Okay, this is this gets pretty interesting. I know it's a F405. Oh no, I want an F7. But this is a complete stack, three to six S with DGI capabilities, which means it'll have a nine volt regulator. However, what you can see is an OSD, and that's really great because you could either set up a normal analog setup and have a nine volt regulator for that video transmitter and still have your OSD and or just with one connector, you can go ahead and set up the DJI setup. For 70 bucks, this is really great. But again, don't put this on a super high demanding setup, just a normal 2450 KV setup, 2300 KV setup, maybe a 6S uh, with like 1750 KV and below. I'm not saying you, you won't get away with using anything higher than that, but this is just to be on the safe side. This is something that I would do and I would recommend to somebody who's building right now. So J-H-E-M-C-U. They're, they're releasing a lot of things recently. I, I remember I used to see them a couple times in the past, but now they're taking it into a whole new level here. Prices, I'd like them to see, I'd like to see the prices cheaper, but what this is offering for 30 bucks is also pretty good. 
we get Bluetooth, we get an F7, we have dual gyro, we have 2 to 6S input, this is just a flight controller. You still have your OSD, and it is DJI Air Unit compatible. That is insane for 30 bucks. That's actually really crazy for 30 bucks. We can actually see the two, two gyros right there uh, next to each other, those little ones right there. So yeah, this I have actually have one on the way. So you can still use an ICM gyro and MPU 6000 or both connected via SPI. We have an A-volt regulator. Um, that's just crazy for camera VTX open and close. Look, you could even power off the eight volt regulator with user two in the modes tab. That's crazy. Two video inputs. That is even more crazy. This is by far. Wow. That's crazy. That is really crazy here. That is actually really insane. I didn't see this before. I actually just quickly just clicked on it just to see what it offers. Cause I saw F7 Bluetooth dual gyro. I was like, oh, that's cool. And the DJI. So this is like a full featured crazy ass flight controller. Hopefully it performs good. Time will tell. I might put this on my budget build actually with the Mamba ESC because that would give it so much flexibility and uh, it'll be very interesting to see how it actually works. So yeah, I'll have this link down below 30 bucks. That's a really good price if it performs very well. Here, Hyphon RC, again, I've, I've seen one of their smaller stacks which I've recently gotten. This is another this is another one of their stacks, 65 bucks. I don't know how good this is, but I might also do another budget build on this. Um, 65 bucks, it's, it's really hard. I need to do my research again. I don't like the motor pads. That's one thing I really don't like on this, uh, but it could be pretty good. I mean, there's, I don't know. We have, I don't, it's saying it has both gyros, but I don't think it's a dual gyro. Let's see what we have here. Uh, we have a nine volt, so it is, uh, we could say DJI compatible. So it even comes with a 40 amp BL32 ESC, which is pretty crazy for a no name. Three to six S LiPo, 40 amps. And I'm just seeing if there's anything interesting here. I mean, the price is pretty attractive here. F7, 216 megahertz, but I still don't understand if it has both gyros. Let's see if we, yeah, I think it does actually. It seems like it does. Those two right there look like two gyros right there. So there's probably another dual gyro here. So uh, yeah, that, that's that's actually pretty crazy. And again, everything here is linked down below. Here's another budget stack from them, J-H-E-M. Oh, that was Hyphon. So this is the Bluetooth dual. These have so many things going on for them. We still have the OSD, which is really great to see here. I hate to see a flight controller that's uh, for both DJI and analog. And at the same time, not have the OSD. That's just terrible in my opinion. I think it's a bad design choice. Um, because it, yeah, you just gotta be flexible, you know, maybe you ruined your DJI setup and you want to go to analog, you don't have to replace the whole thing. So this is nice to see here. I don't like the motor pads. They look cheap. There is no edge plating. The more plating, the more copper we have, the more power delivery we have, the more current could pass through, but it has Bluetooth dual gyro, as we can tell it's feature packed for 70 bucks. That's crazy. But again, personally, I'd probably go with a Mamba. But again, if I test it out, I don't know. It's very difficult. You you, you guys let me know down in the comment section. I, I actually don't know. Uh, but we'll be definitely checking these out. All right. What do we have here? Here's another one. Hyphon RC F405 with everything. Like everything. Like DJI, 9 volt regulator, 40 amp BLH32 ESC, 3 to 6S. That's just crazy. Do we have any other extra features? Nothing is as feature packed as that flight. I've never seen a flight controller as feature packed as this one before ever. So that's that's really nice. That's really nice actually. Uh, here we have gates. I'm planning on picking up a couple of these uh, because they look pretty good. Hopefully these are for big ones. Yeah, I think they are for the big quadcopters. So yeah, these look pretty interesting. I haven't used them. If anyone used them, let us know down in the comment section. Here's a 20 by 20, 35 amp ESC, two to success from. Uh, iFly, iFlight's going budget. I think they're trying to compete with Mamba because Mamba stacks are selling like 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 crazy. And um, so iFly, I think, is trying to tap into that market. And I just love these. Look how simple the design looks. It's just insane. I mean, to, to fix these or if you wanted to debug a problem on them, it would be so easy. Pad size looks great. Layout, don't know yet. But overall, it looks it looks nice. I mean, it's iFlight. You can at least write iFlight if something goes bad. By the way, if you buy iFlight, GebRC, or Diatone, and something is wrong with it, like a defect, I don't recommend you go to Banggood. Banggood takes a lot longer to reply and, and fix your problem. I recommend you just go straight to Diatone, and they'll ask you for the invoice. You show it, and then they handle it. Um, but again, if it's a shipping problem, then you're going to have to just be a little bit patient with uh, Banggood. So the GebRC Mark IV. 
This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite frames. Why? I don't know. It flies good. It's my cheapest build. It had like 300, 400,000 views. I still use it to this day. It's one of my main quads. It's even running Racer Star motors. I know you might hate me for that, but they're still fine. Some of the bearings started making a little bit of noise, but it's not affecting me that much at all. And um, I'm just really happy with it. If I break a motor, the motor doesn't even cost me $8. And it still performs really great. It doesn't have that full power, but it has the power to fly just fine. So this is a 6S variant. Uh, I'm sure this thing is going to fly really great. Definitely sure. This frame design is just beautiful. You have a lot of room for a lot of things. You can 3D, you can find stuff on Thingiverse for it. It's an absolute beauty. Um, and I'd highly recommend anything that's Gab RC Mark IV. So this is basically an honorable mention. I never tested it, but I do have the frame. I actually got another frame, the HD variant one, because that's going to be the budget DJI uh, build video that's going to be upcoming next. And well, that's it, guys. Everything is linked down below. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. And also come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways and a lot of things I give. So just go there, look at it, see if you like what you see, and come join. You support the channel, and you get a ton of things in return. You get my open hardware schematics, you get secret shop access, you get giveaway, a ton of giveaways. Even new Patreons have their own separate giveaway per month. So if there's three new Patreons, then there's a giveaway between those three. And it's a premium giveaway. It's not no battery strap or some sticker or some bullshit like that. No, you get a VTX flight controller, quadcopter, whatever. Maybe this Z $70 one is probably going to be on the next giveaway. I don't even know. Because I don't keep most of this stuff. I give it back to most of you guys. And, well, that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.